Hello and welcome back to 911 Scales. My name is Michael and here it's all about Porsches in all their different sizes. Today we're taking a look at this 118 scale 911 GT3 Cup which is limited to only 300 pieces. That's an extremely low number for a Porsche model car. Here we have the second generation of the 991 GT3 Cup which is a homologated version of the 991.2 GT3 Street car and this is used in many racing series like Porsche's own Carrera Cup and mobile super one cup but also many other racing series and it is actually very hard to go to a racing event nowadays and not see a gt3 cup differences to the street car are actually quite substantial though it uses the same engine it's actually down on power 15 horsepower now pushes 485 horsepower and it also has completely different bag suspension components tires, wheels, and it has no interior whatsoever. Even though the body is quite similar to the GT3 streetcar, this one here gets this huge rear wing, but it's overall not as crazy as a 911 RSR or GT3 R. This model here is a 118 scale version made by Spark for Porsche, as it is mostly the case with this scale, but it's limited to only 300 pieces. That's extremely low, especially for models which have been sold publicly by Porsche. And it is only being suppressed here on the channel by the Porsche Leipzig 911 Speedster. A link to that is down in the description below. Also, they brought out a 143 scale version, but that has a different livery. That is the presentation spec. This year has this very distinctive Porsche Motorsport livery. And before we grab the camera, if you like content like this, make sure to hit the like and subscribe button down below. So let's grab the camera and get up close to check out all the details. Let's start our walk around at the rear with the amazingly huge wing, by far the biggest difference to the streetcar. It has also this huge Porsche logo on top and the Porsche Experience logo over here on the side plates, which you already know from the ICE Experience model I reviewed some time ago. Link is down in the description below. Also different to the streetcar is this huge air scoop here on top, which has actually some mesh inside. All nicely done by Spark, which is also always the case with their 991.2 models. The lights look very nice and the reflectors as well. And all the logos and details like the racing experience here, the Porsche GT3 Cup logo. And the Michelin logo and this thing here. These look all very nicely done. Just the fog light here and the Mobile One logo could be a bit better aligned, but I'm really searching for bad parts here. Finally, the detail is this little tow hook here on the right side. At the side view, you can see that the car really sits significantly lower than the GT3 street car, which is most noticeable here at the rear wheels. These look also very nice and have red center locks here on this side and blue center locks on the other side. The brakes behind them look also very nice and they also have some slats in them. Then the rear window here is actually really cool. The ventilation slats are actually real and they also thought of the gap here. This is something which is sometimes missing on other Spark models, so really good that I thought of them here. The mirrors are the same on the streetcar, but there's a difference here in the roof. There's actually the escape hatch installed and the gray, red, black livery continues with a little Porsche Intelligence Performance logo down here. The front is a tiny bit more aggressive than the streetcar with the bigger front splitter here and bigger arches for the front wheels. All the other details are nicely done like this tow hook here and the leashes to hold the hood and also these two necker dubs up here. And as always greatly done are the lights. What is kind of a funny thing is that the GT3 uses only one single wiper which is situated here in the middle of the windscreen instead of the two of the street car which would lay down. Finally the interior where you can find that there is no interior installed at all. What is there is on the other end a huge racing cage and the single bucket racing seat for the driver. The dashboard is also very different going all the way to the floor of the car with many switches. Also it's been given the very well-known digital instruments and the racing steering wheel. What is a cool thing is that the interior is all white like the body of the car so you can see everything very clearly. These race car models are always such a joy to look at with all their plentiful details. Let me know in the comments below what you think of this one and with that let's rate also this model in our scores. Price is very high. I searched thoroughly online for a long time. I only find one single offer with an outrageous asking price definitely not worth it and I think that a realistic price is still over its standard retail price of 300 euros earning it a 3 out of 10. Quality is on the same level as with most model cars 
a 7 out of 10. Details are awesome, but not as crazy as on some other race cars I reviewed so far, giving it here an 8 out of 10. Rarity is very high and definitely worth a 9 out of 10. Significance is on the same level as the GT3 Skeet car. The GT3 Cup is always a very important car for Porsche Motorsports, giving it here a 7 out of 10. Which means that the super rare 118 scale GT3 Cup gets a 34 out of 50 and puts it here against some other race cars I reviewed so far. And with that, it sits right below the 935 and GT2 RS Club Sport and one point above the 143 scale Coca-Cola RSR and 99X Electric. This is mostly due to its very high rarity score. And the scoreboard with all the models I reviewed so far is as always linked down in the description below. And with that, I'm sending you to my high resolution pictures at the end of this video so that you can look at the model It's all its glory. If you like this video, make sure to hit that like button and consider to subscribe to my channel. That's it for now. Tune in next time when we are exploring the Porsche model covered in 911 scales. Thank you very much. Allah. Ciao.